Hey there, friendlies, how's up? Uh, it's just after 5 p.m. on uh, the 30th of October, which means that tomorrow is Halloween. Um, and we're at a balmy 15 degrees uh, Celsius. So, uh, I think it's cocktail time. Okay. <laughs> I'm running out of places to put stuff. So, uh, look at all this stuff. That looks like a really big complex uh, cocktail, but in reality, we're doing two versions of a very simple cocktail. One of my favorites is the old fashioned, and I have always done it with uh, rye. Not necessarily this one. My rye of choice is the Lot 40 for such things. Uh, in my house, all rye is 100%. I don't do high rye, this, blah, blah, blah. A lot of Canadian ryes. What ifs? 100% rye is what I likes, okay? So, uh, I recently picked this up. Now, okay, I don't do Jack Daniels, okay? The old number seven or whatever. I, I find that Jack Daniels is way too Harley Davidson. My tastes are a little more trying for Ducati. Um, I got a sample of this one, which I hope the video is already up. <laughs> I shot a video. Um, and I just, I just love this. This is like the one that I will buy. Uh, so I recently bought it and I have been told by a friend that this makes a terrific old fashioned. Now, I have virtually never done a bourbon old fashioned. I always do it rye. So I'm gonna uh, see how right he is. So uh, I'll make the two drinks. Uh, I'll start with the rye and then we will move on. Should I do them at the same time? like? sugar cubes bitters let's do that okay just clearing off the deck a little bit here anything that i don't need i'm going to put over behind the camera i'm going to need this really fast okay so where's my sugar two sugar cubes now can we see this balancing on the side of a pool here guys two sugar cubes now, I do three dashes of Angostura bitters, followed by three dashes of orange bitters, because it's delicious. I should get one of those Japanese d uh, dasher bottles. I find that the uh, Angostura bottles are not quite as exact as I want them to be. Little fizzy water. Not much, just a bar spoon. I'm, um, Look, bar spoons are not all of uniform measurement, okay? I think this is a five mil bar spoon. Um, but when you have like a bunch of bar spoons, select one that you're gonna use for measurements and, and then you will have like consistency. Next up, we are going to mashy, mashy, mashy. Cling, cling, cling. Sorry, guys. There we go. We got our little mashy, mashy, mashy happening. Next up is a couple of ice cubes. You know what? Let's let's not goosh these everywhere. There we go. One and two. Little splishy, splashy. Next up is the booze. This is Northern Eyes. It's 100% rye from Alberta. It's a three year. Um, handcrafted with 100% Alberta rye grain and aged in a single American oak barrel. This is by the Hansen Distillery, hansendistillery.com. This is not a paid endorsement. This was a gift from a buddy. I'm never gonna get two ounces out of that. So let's uh, keep it within the, the Alberta motif, shall we? I've said before that the Alberta premium cask strength. Well, somewhere someone's not having a good day. As I've said before, the Alberta premium cask strength is a fabulous beverage in a terrible bottle. Now, two ounces. 
of Zirai and this baby right here. How am I going to keep these straight? Now for the Bourbon, American Bourbon, American Knife. Oh, I know. By the way, Gerber, this is an LMF2. This is made in Portland, Oregon. If you are the type who cares about where an Acnife is made, but for the motif of the American beverage, I think it's fitting. Now, as I was gonna say, the Jack Daniels fans out there are probably freaking out that I called this suburban, but let's face it. All right, Tennessee whiskey, but come on. Look, I'm not a big fan of the uh, Lincoln County process. I don't think it makes a big difference. I don't think it makes a very good whiskey. This bottle is fabulous, but um, it's like an outlier. Okay, let's put this one here. Well, I just bumped the camera, sorry. Let's put that one there so that I know which one is the rye. I'm gonna flip this over and do two pours of the one outside so that we do not cross contaminate the flavor flav. I know it's not flavor flav. Is that guy still around, still making the musics? Anyone know? If so, sound off down below. You know, when you get over giving me crap about calling Jack Daniels bourbon. Okay, let's put this down here. My orange just rolled onto the cover on this pool. I gotta get that right back. <laughs> okay, got it back. I was, uh, it rolled onto the top of the pool and we got all this, this stuff happening. I do love fall though, it's my favorite season. All right, so we're going to do a couple of orange twist days. Did I stir these a little? Um. I had to lick the spoon off in between there so I didn't cross contaminate. Drop the knife. Man, this is a really pro video, eh? Jeez, just get your stuff together. There's one little lemon twisty. Um, what? One little orange twisty. Come on, Jess. Let's hope the production values end up being better than the uh, dialogue, oh, the monologue. Little Redbird action. Not a paid endorsement. And I will do one. One per. Yeah, let's get rid of this. I do like to, to flame my Do a little bit of this action. Drop that in there. That's the bourbon one, the Tennessee whiskey one. Now for the rye. I never use, oop, careful. There we go. Tennessee whiskey, rye. Now I know what this is gonna taste like because I, I do them with rye all the time. I do wanna say one thing. A lot of people don't like to do the sugar cube anymore. You don't need it because now they've got ice, so it's not gonna dilute properly. You use simple syrup. Say how with that, I'm a classicist. And I like how between there and there, the drink evolves, gets a little grittier. You know, the, the, the sugar, is more and more present as you get down to the bottom. I like that. I like that. Well, that's a very recognizably rye. Because um, this is the Alberta Premium Cask Strength, it's going to be a little higher octane than I'm used to with the Lot 40. Cheers. Very recognizably rye. It's got that herbal thing that I like. Very green, very growing, slight piney notes, 
foresty. Those are all the things that I really like. I love 100% rye. And the Alberta Premium, um, in fact, I find that most Canadian ryes don't have that licorice-y thing that you find in some American ryes. This is a terrific drink. Mm. Absolutely. Just going to clean my palate a bit here. All right, so this is the one with the Jack Daniels barrel strength. Is that what it's called? Single barrel select. Sorry, guys. Jack Daniels single barrel select. That's a 47%, so it's not going to be quite as high octane as the, I believe that's a 63? It's a 63.7 for the Alberta Premium, which uh, that's batch three, by the way. So here's the Tennessee whiskey. Right off the bat, it don't smell the same. Right, like this has the, the rye spice and herbaceousness happening. This already smells way, way smoother. So let's do it. Mmm. Hell yeah. Sweet, creamy, little spicy edge. Just a little bit. Oh. The bitters definitely have a more pronounced effect in the uh, Jack Daniels one uh, because there's so much spice happening already in rye that the, the bitters just tend to sort of meld with the taste whereas this I feel that the bitters elongate the experience um, they they add that that scintillating spice uh, into the drink the rye is an afternoon old-fashioned uh, you're getting together with friends maybe you're doing cocktails before supper boom that's it right there it's got that liveliness it'll meet you halfway if you're looking for something that's got a little bit of zing but you don't want to overdo it nice drink this is an after supper drink this is an evening by the fire drink it doesn't make you work for it quite as hard still got some very nice flavors different character though that's all she wrote thanks for hanging out with me while i did this little con compare and contrast um as i always say if you like what i'm doing then please do the following three things one and this is an important one Sound off. What's your favorite old fashioned? How do you make it? Rye, bourbon, Canadian whiskey. Uh, do you use simple syrup? Do you use honey syrup? Do you use a sugar cube? Do you put the uh, soda water in or not? I never used to put the soda water for, for the, uh, the muddling part. Um, I've only recently started doing that. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing it or not. Uh, second thing share this video. That helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And third, leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's okay. Leave me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.